In the early 1900s, medical doctors Lim Boon King and Chen Su Lan tried to end the stranglehold opium had on their fellow Chinese. Singapore's struggle with opium began in the 1800s. Singapore's status as a free port meant that revenue was often lacking. To resolve this, the colonial government licensed the sale of opium. Funds generated were used to build roads and infrastructure in the young colony. Opium was used by rich local Taokais and the working classes alike. But for the poor, opium was an especially cruel master. For them, opium use meant a continued cycle of poverty. Workers spent all their wages at opium dens. Some were even paid in opium rather than money. Many used the drug to ease their pain from back-breaking physical labor. Then, in 1906, Lim Boon Keng and Chen Su Lan formed the Anti-Opium Society in an attempt to eradicate the social ill. They sought a total prohibition through legislation and also the education of the young. They raised funds for the first anti-opium clinic in Singapore in 1933. At that time, one in every four Chinese adults was an opium addict. It was an uphill battle, for opium was readily available on the streets. It was not till 1946 that the colonial government issued the Opium and Chandu Proclamation, making opium smoking illegal. Slowly, opium stranglehold on society was ended.